it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's video, Miri and I will be showing you 5 common mistakes that people make when stamping their nails. When stamping, you don't want your nails to look like this. However, you do want them to look like this. We're going to be giving you lots of tips and tricks today on how to perfect your nail stamping skills. Before we start, hit that like button to support our channel and don't forget to subscribe for a new video every week. Number 1. You receive your new stamping plate in the mail or from a local store and you're so excited to finally try it out. You say to yourself, hey, I've seen this before. All you do is paint some polish over the image, scrape, and then pick it up with the stamper. You try to pick up the image and… Uh, nothing. No! What is going on? This is an easy fix. You forgot to remove the protective film. Just grab some tweezers or use your fingers to pull it off and reveal the shiny chrome. So to summarize, if your stamping plate is blue, you still need to remove the protective sticker. Number 2. Another common mistake that people make is taking their sweet time while stamping. Stamping is not meant to be slow and relaxed, you guys. It's meant to be stressful. <laughs> not really. I'm just kidding. You just can't work too slowly or the polish will dry. It'll dry either on the stamping plate or on the stamper before it gets on your nail. So you need to work at a good speed to ensure success. Number 3. So now you're like, okay, I got this. I removed the sticker, I'm painting, scraping, and stamping at a good speed. Ah, where did my image go? Only half of it made it on the nail. Cue the clear stamper. This new stamper will solve all of your placement problems. You can see right through it, which allows you to perfectly place your image right where you want it on your nail. If you guys are interested in getting your own, we'll have this product linked for you in the description box. Number 4. Moving along, the next common mistake is using the wrong type of nail polish. If your nail polish is too sheer like this one, you won't have a vibrant and solid image to stamp on your nail. The best nail polishes for stamping are highly pigmented ones. Think of the nail polishes in your collection that give good color payoff and coverage in just one coat. You can also find special nail polishes in stores and online that are meant specifically for stamping. But regular nail polishes with high color payoff will work just as well. Number 5. Finally, the same goes with your top coats. Some will just work better than others when it comes to stamping. Once you have the perfect manicure, you don't want to ruin it by smearing or smudging it with the wrong top coat. Test out the top coats you have in your collection first before you do your whole perfect manicure. If you'd like to watch more awesome videos on cute polish, click here or here. You can also subscribe by clicking here. Also, don't forget to check out Miri's channel by clicking the link in the description box below. She's the one who painted these designs today. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time!